at the moment to Chuck Checkers. It is a constitutional outrage. It's not taking back control, it's forfeiting control. And by the way, they know it in Brussels. Don't be fooled by the suggestion that the EU will ultimately reject these proposals. Because what they want above all is to demonstrate to any other country that might dream of following suit that you cannot leave the EU without suffering adverse political and economic consequences. This is May in her Tory government's Chequers agreement is a complete betrayal of Brexit and everything it was meant to be. It is a surrender document to the European Union. And what does it contain? Well, she wants us to continue to have our goods and our exports uh, controlled and legislated for by the European Union. Uh, those decisions will be the province of the European Court of Justice and we're still going to have more or less open borders to EU migration. The key thing that Brexit was about was about taking back democratic control. It was about living in our own country under our own laws made by our own democratically elected governments accountable to us, the British people. And she is signalling that she is going to betray all that. She has done everything she possibly can in the last two years to delay Brexit, to impede the Brexit, and all in the intended outcome of reversing the referendum decision. What she's trying to do is achieve a deal whereby we leave in name, but not in reality. If the Chequers plan, and the Prime Minister thinks she can get a deal on the basis of it, if that comes back to the House of Commons as the basis of a deal, will you vote for it? Or against it? I'll vote against it. It would be rather odd for me to resign over something and then vote for it when it came back. In my view, uh, the Chequers proposal, it's not a deal, we shouldn't call it a Chequers mm. deal, it's the Chequers proposal, uh, is actually almost worse than being in. I mean, we will be under the rule of the European Union with respect to all of our manufactured goods and agri-foods. Uh, that's uh, a really serious concession. What about take back control doesn't work uh, that actually leaves us in a position where they dictate our future uh, rules with because deal doesn't work it doesn't deliver brexit and it doesn't maintain the integrity of the single market so the eu doesn't like it uh, and people who wanted to leave the european union don't like it uh, donald tusk has merely repeated what uh, monsieur barnier said a couple of weeks ago to the brexit select committee that the key parts of checkers don't work from the EU's point of view and the government needs to recognise that and come up with a better approach which would be a Canada plus free trade deal solving the Irish border on the basis set out by the European Research Group uh, which I chair last week. Well it's not really a deal is it, it's more like a surrender, I mean we're paying a huge sum of money, we're allowing a foreign court to continue to have jurisdiction over our country, we're committing ourselves to regulatory uh, similarity uh, which means we can't become competitive and we've done all of this in return for nothing. They will now just talk to us about perhaps having a trade deal. So, so the point about Brexit, uh, and, and this is very much for the business community to think about, we voted Brexit because we wanted to be able to be more competitive than our European neighbours, to make our own laws in our own sectors. We voted Brexit because we wanted to be able to go global. And the problem with the timeline we're on here is at the very earliest the first, week, the first time we could sign a trade deal with the USA or anybody else would be the end of 2021, a full six years after we voted Brexit. Lancaster House said laws will once again be made in Westminster. Yeah. Chequers says there will be an ongoing harmonisation with a common EU rulebook. Lancaster House said it would be wrong to comply with EU rules and regulations without having a vote on what those rules and regulations are. Chequers now makes us rules takers. Lancaster House said we don't want anything that leaves us half in, half out. And we do not seek to hold on to bits of membership as we leave. Chequers says that we will remain in lockstep on goods and agri-foods and much more besides, with disputes ultimately adjudicated by the European Court of Justice. Far from making laws in Westminster, there are large sectors in which ministers will have no power to initiate, <coughs> innovate or even deviate. After decades in which UK ministers have gone to Brussels and expostulated against costly EU regulation, 
We are now claiming that we must accept every jot and tittle for our economic health with no say of our own and no way of protecting our businesses and entrepreneurs from rules now and in the future that may not be in their interests.